Welcome back, survivors. Disturb Z here, and we are back in Noble Fates. All right, guys, let's see what do we got going right now. We've got who do we got down here working the cornfield? We got Jeff in the cornfield. He is doing things. We got Jeff. Why did you just? Why are you carrying the Jebediah? Sir, why did you just put a deer in the middle of my pumpkin patch? I have questions. I have questions. So I'm kind of thinking that maybe we have the reverse idea here. Maybe instead of having a pin for the animals, maybe I need to build a pin around the farm instead. It's kind of what I'm thinking. Jeff has a level. Let's see what level Jeff is now. Jeff is level nine. There we go. Plus one on range, cooking, and logging, which is awesome. Let me see. How's our storage down here looking? We've got, what is this? We've got copper. We've got pig hides. We've got cow hides. So I've got a lot of hide material. Uh, what is that? Foragers, cloth, shoes. Okay. So we still got a few items in there. We've got some of that. Okay. So. I had a suggestion about building a second crafting table. That way both Steven and Kristoff uh, could both work on things. I'm thinking, guys, that if I do that, I want to put it in here. Cow? Um, I can enlist the cow. It could be a battle cow. Oh, I'm so confused, but like, so intrigued at the same time. What, what, what do I get to use the cow for? But anyway, like I was trying to say a second ago, I'm thinking about uh, building a thing over here, right off these craft or off these storage rooms, building like a little little crafting area type deal off of them. Um, that way, they can just you know run over here, grab stuff, do stuff, you know, that type of thing. So that's kind of what I'm thinking right now. But I don't know where to put it. Because um, I'm kind of thinking maybe we put it in here. So if we did that, I would be able to come in here and say, Hey, uh, dig this out for me like that. And then what I would do is I'd come back in here with walls. That are stone, of course. Do like so. Do that. And then just kind of like leave this open inside there. Alright, let's speed things up. Let's let them work. Let's let them do their stuff. Steven. Oh, here we go. Uh, Toppist. I'm here from the Finnick Liquors. I, I don't know why they lick Phoenix, but Pastor Scraw sent me. I've heard things about your kingdom. May I stay for a while? Yes, Alex, you may stay. I think I've heard of Alex. Alex deserted somebody at some point. Where is this Alex? There's that Alex. I want to go speak with Alex. Okay, let's keep stuff slow. All right, let's see. First, uh, let's see if they have anything to trade. Some steel stuff. They have some animals. They have some corn seeds. I always try to buy as many corn seeds as possible. Corn seeds, and do I want to grab the pumpkin seeds? I kind of do. I might even grab the pumpkin or the corn itself. You know what? Let's just go ahead and grab the corn itself, too. We'll just add on. So we've got 16 there. So what can we sell to equal out 16? Um, we've got corpses. I mean, they're not worth a whole lot, but, you know, they're worth, you know, 0.10. 
a piece. So we might as well go ahead and send them, you know, send them with them. It's, I know we can chop them up and cook them and eat them and stuff, but yeah, we're not we're not going to do that. Not with the peoples. Not this go-around. I might do another go-around where the dudes are more violent at some point, if you will. But right now, we're kind of just doing a little friendly approach on things. Uh, what else do we got? We've got... I do have the bronze pauldrons and stuff. I have the wooden hammer for the artisan. Um, man, I don't know. Bronze axe. We could sell that one. Sell that guy. That would give us 16. We'd have to pay one, one coin. There's really nothing else I can sell. I mean, everything else is like so tiny. Like we don't even have very much wood. We have a ton of stone, but I'm not selling my stone. Um, no, don't want to sell pumpkins. Yeah, they just don't want to buy anything from us at a decent price. I think we'll just do that. So we'll pay one one silver, one coin, whatever it is, and we'll get we'll get that trade going. All right. So what is on your mind? Pastor Scraw kicked Jeb out of the Phoenix. Jeb? Okay. What else? Don't care for human skin. Clunk defected from the Phoenix liquors. To the dark butchers, huh? Uh, don't care about Pastor Scraw. What else? Cooked imp. Yeah, let's let's keep going on. Okay, River Tum. River Tum seemed to be at war with a lot of people. Okay. <laughs> he thinks they're clumsy. That's funny. Uh, tell me about Pastor Scraw. Cow leather is uneven, huh? Hmm. Okay. Human leather is worth it, huh? Um, what else is on your mind? Okay. Yeah, he likes me. I like me too. Alright, he likes us now. Who is Aaron? Fair adroitness. I'm here for Emperor Bam and the Knife Tigers, huh? Okay. Sure. I don't know if I need to talk to you or not, but... Good. 
<laughs> what what does that even mean? What what why do you, why did he say humans are uneven? What does that even mean? Uh yeah, that's that's just so weird. I think I think I'm done with this conversation. He likes me, therefore one less person that wants to like kill me, maybe, possibly, we'll see. Anyway, let's get back up here. Do they have a chance? They have not had a chance to work on this yet. Let's speed things up. Let's let them. Let's let them go about their day. Let's see. Let's see what trade y'all have. Y'all have steel, man. I want some steel. I do have some corn seeds, but do I have anything worth it to trade? What I need to do, well, we do have, hold on, I have. So would the other guy just not accept it? Because none of this stuff popped up on the other one. Huh. Yes, give me more corn and more pumpkin seeds. Uh, let's see, we've got to spin seven. Man, why is there so much stuff? Uh, he accepts, like, everything. When did I get imps in? Yeah, this has to... I don't know. I have no idea now. I'm like, where did half of this stuff come from? Had to have been from those bodies. Had to have been from those bodies. Okay, yeah, let's let's trade. We'll get how much? We'll get five coins out of that trade. That sounds good. Yeah, let's go ahead and offer the trade. There we go. So we still got seven years worth of food. And it seems like so far everything's looking pretty good. Our little stockpile warehouse over here is full of stuff. We got more venison. So I think I need to add another cook task for venison. There we go. That should help out a little bit. All right. So. We got someone learning. Oh, Steven has a level. Let's see what his level is. Level up. Max health. So we got nursing, logging, farming, and hauling. Okay. Okay. All right, here we go. Yeah, let me build another crafting bench. I think it has to go like that. Okay. Yeah, we'll do that. All right. Little auto save action there. Kristoff can level up. So, so far, guys, I'm enjoying this game. It has a little, it, it's a unique little twist on City Builder. 
I don't know what all I'd want to call it. Oh, all you got was health. That was it. Kristoff, you're supposed to get things. Oh, well, I guess I can't complain. A little extra health is always a good thing. So, how are we doing? You know what I need to do? I need to check our belongings, and I need to see. Hold on. Uh, Amber wants eight-piece hand gear. Orc Wanderers are visiting. Kristoff wants a seven-piece bed. Fennec Lickers are visiting. Knife Tigers are visiting. Okay, so Amber still wants eight-piece hand gear. Do we have an eight-piece hand gear? For her, no, because she's, like, still being weird about stuff. Yeah. Still being weird about things. All right, so no to you, although her breacher skin is kind of messed up. And then, who wants something else? Kristoff wants a 7P bed. I don't know if we have a 7P bed, Kristoff. Uh, let's see, where are my beds at? Oh, I've got an 8P right there. Go ahead and give him the 8P bed. And that'll at least get him satisfied. So he should be good for a little bit, which is good. Alright, so let me guess. We are out of stone, and that's why we can't... Yeah, insufficient stone. We're always out of something. I tell you what. Okay, so... What I am thinking... I guess let's come over here to the mountain. And let me get another dig order. Alright, that ought to be a plenty, plenty big dig order. We'll just go ahead and hollow that all the way out. Alright, year two of summer. Yep, y'all get out of here. I don't know how long it takes these bushes to grow, but... Oh, we also need to get some wood cut. Um, cut down this tree. Cut down that tree. Cut down that one. That one. And that one. Yeah, because we need the extra wood. Alright, so what do we got left? Hide gauntlets. Is that what Kristoff is learning right now? Yes, he's learning the hide gauntlets. Uh, magnificent help. The Forge Butchers want me dead. Leader of the Cry Wanderers. Huh? They have a party hot on my tail. I seek asylum. Protect me from them and I'll serve you dutifully. What a dilemma. Um, the Forge Butchers. Those are, that's Pasha Quim, right? I really don't want to fight Pasha Quim. Yeah, I think, I think we're just going to have to, I don't know if I capture him, can I turn him over? See, I don't know, like, what did he, like, what did he do? Like, did he kill someone? Did something happen? Cry killed Ziggs. He was a noble of the Forge Butchers. Cry killed Zim and Tater. Cries of no kingdom. He killed Tater. I don't know if I've ever met Tater. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me let me let me see what's going on here on the map. Q 
Okay. Yeah, I don't think I I don't think I want to make Pasha Quim and them mad. They're like the big group, and yeah, I don't I don't think so. Um, Yes, Probably capture him. Uh-huh, they are ours for the taking. Novus Contra? Wait, who? Yeah, yeah. Did we kill him? He's dead. I said capture him, not kill him. Oops. <laughs> well, apparently you don't mess with... Emperor Steven because he will throw the smack down on you and he will let you know where you messed up. Let's see. Where is it at? Where is it at? Copper. There it is. Copper, copper everywhere. Yeah, make some more plate pauldrons. All right. Well, interesting. I think we might need to start equipping our people here. So we've got Lifter's Cloth Tunic that is broken. I need to replace his tunic. So let's go down to Upper and let's see. What do we got here? So we've got... We could throw on some brass pauldrons and... Stuff, or we can go with that. Um, what did he have? He had hauling, so I could replace it with this guy. Take that one back. Okay, let's see if anyone else has anything broken that needs replaced. Uh, breacher skin. Okay, what are your jobs? Farming, cooking, hauling, foraging. Dicing cloth tunic. Yeah, that would be... That'd probably be okay. Alright. So who is that? Amber? Okay, so Kristoff needs a new cloth tunic. His jobs are crafting, cleaning, farming, guarding. I'd give him plus one on melee. That would help with his guarding. Um... I guess give him that one. And then he also needs cloth shoes. Or he just needs shoes. Let's see. He does have crafting. So we can give him those shoes. Take this. And then let's see. Who else do we got? Poppy. Poppy needs gloves. And why is Poppy's level so low? Let's see. Mining, guarding, foraging, and hauling. I don't really have anything for you, do I? Well, you do have ranching. I guess that. Ah, hey, oh, Noble of the Forge Butchers. Jason, good day. I'm here from the Forge Butchers. We woke up one morning and Cry had skipped town with a nice chunk of Warden Jackson's silver to boot. 
I can grant my wardens justice if I bring them back. They did. That is unfortunate. Thanks. Ah, he said they did. He didn't even care. He just straight up, they did. It's like, don't even bother. We done killed them. I was just trying to capture them. I mean, I was going to turn them over whenever they got here. But yeah, he, he, I guess, yeah. That did not happen. All right, I'm going to craft up some more of these bows, I guess. And I'm going to go ahead and issue a dig. No, not Poppy. Why is Poppy considering desertion? Where is Poppy? Is Poppy's in the mine? Steven, go speak with Poppy and hurry. Yes, the River Tums are at war. <laughs> He's mad because I murdered Cry. I didn't murder Cry. Then go to sleep. Okay, well, I'm like, sorry that it's dark over here. I don't know what I can do for you. I don't think we've ever served cooking. Hmm. This might take a minute. This might take a big minute. All right, guys, I think I'm going to pause it here. I'm going to work on Poppy, and we'll be right back. Okay, guys, so we've got Poppy back up a little bit. The uh, Jebediah had dropped a little bit, but at the same time, it came back up. So I'm not overly concerned. We're just going to let him run, and we're going to see what happens here. I am watching Jebediah just a little bit, though. I don't know why his stuff's so low, and I don't know why Yvonne's stuff is low is it either. I mean, it's like it fluctuates depending on their job and I'm like I'm not telling y'all to you know I mean you're the one who likes mining so uh we might need to speak with old Jeb he might be he might be close to contemplating things Let's see if we can do this real fast and easy style you know what? I bet it has to do with that mine. I bet you if I put some light in there. Uh, yeah, he doesn't care. We'll give him, give him a couple. Come on, give me something to work with here. Then go rest. Alright, you murdered cry. Alright, I think... 
I think we need to get some torches built and placed inside that thing. I think that's the problem over there is that no one has torches. Yeah, make some more torches. Maybe that'll make everyone happier if they have some torches. I didn't even think about it. I'm just like, yeah, it's a mine. Just go in there and work. Alright, so we have torches now. Yeah, everybody looks much happier. Alright, guys, well. I think that's probably going to be it for today. I do hope everybody has enjoyed it. If you have, be sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. It is an awesome way for you to show your support to me, to the channel, to the video, and to the game itself. And as always, feel free to share the video on any social media you're using. And guys, just like to stop, take a moment, and thank each and every one of, of y'all for all of your wonderful, awesome support, all the comments, all the likes, all the subscribers, and all the videos shared. It is awesome. I do appreciate it. And with that being said, until next time, survivors, keep on surviving.